Today's question via ddefranco.com slash ask comes from NomadMTB, also known as Kyle. Cool guy, I follow him on Twitter, so I will put his Twitter link right below. Kyle's question is, what's your favorite or most frequently used keyboard shortcut? Now this is an awesome question because I am a shortcut, hmm, I was going to use a bad word there, but let's just say I'm obsessed with shortcuts, guys. It kills me. Seriously, it does. It drives me nuts inside. It kills me. When I see people doing the most basic things with the mouse and the arrow keys, and I'm like, just use a keyboard shortcut. I love observing people. I don't know if that's new to you, uh, news to you, I should say, but I just love observing people, getting in their heads, knowing what they're thinking. Of course, we don't know what everybody's thinking, but the point is, I just, I just like observing people. So sometimes I even see people, if I see people one more time, you know how when you're on a form like signing up for your name, yeah, lame, name, email address, whatever, password, all that stuff, and you can press tab, tab, tab to go, you know, from one text field to the next? I still see people sometimes take their mouse, type it in, click on the next form, or um, text field, type it in, next field, type it in, next field. Do you know how much time you're wasting? Now, to you, it may just seem like seconds. It really is just seconds but it's really not. Those three seconds you're wasting each, each time you click the text field, you could be doing it literally less than a second. David, tab, DeFranco, tab, DavidDeFranco.gmail.com, tab, blah, 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 blah. Just press the tab key. You guys most likely know this because you're watching this video, so please do not think I'm talking down on you because I'm not. But believe it or not, there are people out there who do not know what the tab key does, and it drives me nuts. In terms of other keyboard shortcuts, one of my most used ones is definitely an Apple's Mail app. Command Shift D will send your message quickly. Of course, Command N does a new window, new message. It's basically the same for any app. Another tip I really like is Command Space. Now, of course, that only applies for Mac users, but that quickly gains you access to the spotlight. Um, if you're on the Finder, just press Command Shift A. It'll open up your Applications folder. Now, this is a great trick. Holding down the option key, press any of your function keys above, and what your mind thinks will open in the system preferences, it usually does. For instance, press, well, hold down option, press the volume up, down, or silent key, or mute key, whatever you call it, and it'll open your sound preferences. It's pretty cool. Now, hold down option, press the mission control key, opens up mission control preferences. Option, brightness, opens up your display preferences. Now this is something I found out purely by curiosity one day. I was like, you know what, what if you press option and volume? Will it open up your sound controls? And yes, it does, and I use it all the time. Another tip, small tip, but very useful, hold down the shift key and press your volume buttons. You hear that? Exactly, you don't hear anything, because that automatically mutes the little pop noises you get in OS X. Now that's not useful for every type of environment, like here, I never really use it for here, but when I was in college and I was in a library or a computer lab, just hold down the shift keys, well, that one shift key, press your volume key, it works wonders. Now there's obviously a lot more that I know through my everyday and all day use. This kind of stuff just comes naturally to yourself after you use it obsessively like I do, because I cannot express this enough. I love keyboard shortcuts, they save me so much time. Um, but if you guys know of any tips that I did not mention, or any keyboard shortcuts, tips, even any tips of any kind, basically tips to just save us time. Did I just say time? No, I said kind and time. It's funny how when you rhyme words, your mind thinks um, you said it twice, but you really didn't. Okay, this video has fallen off track. As always, I like to recommend a free audiobook. And today's audiobook is, of course, yet again, Steve Jobs. The biography. Now, this is normally $35 value, but for you guys, it's free. Go to audibletrial.com slash the creative one. Right below, for your convenience, just click that link, sign up, literally just search Steve Jobs, and the book is yours for completely free forever. And as always, thank you so much to Audible for making this possible. I'm always getting people on Twitter and Facebook, email, and even in the YouTube comments saying, David, thank you very much for the Steve Jobs audiobook for free and the Nintendo audiobook for free and overall it's just a great deal so thank you Audible and thank you guys for watching. 
If you want to ask your own question over at ddefacto.com slash ask, you can do that right below. The link is, well, right below. And if I repeat myself one more time, I'm going to go crazy. Enjoy those keyboard shortcuts, guys, and I'll see you next time.